All right, so this is our second area problem. So I'm going to read it to you so you can hear it. So the ABC Bikes needs to build a new parking lot for the employees of the company. They have 800 feet of fencing, and they will build the lot next to the building, so one side needs no fence. Uh, what are the dimensions of the largest possible parking lot? So as we walk through the whole process, remember what you're doing is you're looking for the largest possible area or largest par possible parking lot. So uh, you're gonna draw a picture first. So this is my building here, right? So that means the 800 feet of fencing is covering the, just these three sides. The building is the fourth side. So always the first thing, what's your objective? Your objective is the largest area, right? The largest parking lot. Then we're gonna go to the constraint. So the constraint says, I only have 800 feet of fencing. That's what's gonna limit me. So I have 800 equals two lengths plus one width. Very different than the other one. The other one, I had to use all four sides. So that's why it's really important to draw a picture when you can, because you can see, oh, I only have two lengths and one width. I only have three, three parts to the fence. The fourth part is being covered by the building, okay? All right, so we have our objective, we have our constraint. So now we're gonna solve our constraint for one variable. Well, look, width is already by itself. So all I'm gonna do is subtract L, 2L from both sides, and I have 800 minus 2L. Let me turn my phone down. Okay, so got my, object, got my picture, got my objective, got my constraint, solved my constraint for one variable. Now I need to find my endpoints. What are my, what are my, um, my beginning and ending points? Well, my width can only be positive. So I'm gonna set my constraint, I'm gonna block this in, I'm gonna set my constraint to greater than or equal to zero. In other words, I only want positive numbers. All right, so now I'm gonna solve. Subtract 800 from both sides, I get negative 2L is greater than or equal to negative 800. Divide both sides by negative two. When I divide by a negative, it flips the sign Okay, so now I have my endpoints. So here's my objective, here's my constraint, here is the constraint that I'm gonna go back to, and my endpoints are between zero and 400. Okay, and again, where did I get the zero? Well, because we're only dealing in positive numbers, I can't have anything less than zero. So it goes from zero to 400. This is my other ins the other side of my um, domain. All right, so now I'm going to plug my solved constraint into my objective. So I have my area equals my length times, and now I have width. Okay, so it doesn't matter which variable I solve for. I'm just going to solve for one of them. I always just pick the easiest one. The, I'm efficient. All right, so width is 800 minus 2L. All right, now I'm going to uh, simplify this. So again, my area in terms of length, all I have is length in here. So that's where that comes from. Okay, so I have 800L minus 2L squared. I have my function, and now I can walk through the process. I'm looking for critical points. To find critical points, I have to find my derivative. Okay, using my power rule. Now I'm gonna set my derivative to zero and then solve. So I have to subtract 800 from both sides, divide both sides by negative four. So my length is gonna be 200. Okay, so what I just found is my critical point. Okay, so I have my endpoint and I have a critical point of 200. All right, so now I can plug that, those three values, 
back into my original function. So I have a at zero, a at 200, and area at when x is, or uh, l is 400. Okay, so derivative, get my original function, find the derivative, set your derivative to zero, solve for your variable, okay? And now I'm gonna plug in. Well, when I plug zero in here, I'm gonna get zero out. When I plug 200 into here, I'm gonna get out 80,000. Okay, and when I plug 400 into here, it all works out to zero again. So you can see, hopefully you're seeing a pattern. Your critical point nine times out of 10 is gonna be um, the, give you the maximum, okay? All right, so always go back to the question. What is the question looking for? It says, what are the dimensions of the largest possible parking lot? So I know that my length is 200. What's my width? So to find my width, I'm gonna take my 200 and plug it back into um, my constraint to find my width. That's why I always mark it. I always put a, 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 um, a square or a circle or a big star by it because I know I have to use it again, okay? So I plug 200 into here. So it's 800 minus two times 200. So 800 minus 400 is 400. So my dimensions is 200 by 400. So my length was 200, my width was 400. 200 times 400 gives me my 80,000. That's my maximum area. Okay, there we go. And I'll do, uh, we'll try one more.